Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we'll continue our Swan Song campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the literal hardest difficulty with all settings cranked up. And we are in the second solar system. Reaper is out of action, Hawkbite's just back in action, so we're doing fine overall, but it is time for a good, decent mission. And what could be better than destroying a base, specifically if we're being paid well uh, in order to do that. So, yeah, getting some salvage and some payment. Normally, I would generally try to maximize either or, but I think we're fine. 300 uh, will get us almost all the way to 1.5 millions and in the meantime we're getting some salvage on top of it we're taking the same standard lands and this time hogbite is going to lead the fray it is a two um school mission with just the starting lands so i am expecting nothing short of uh, pretty much a, a difficult fight but that's what we're here for right get cranking up the difficulty and try to just barely scratch by good time to begin the mission hogbite bradford lily and box we're landing on the very edge of this map wow look at this place it's really uh holy okay that's a water map green oh boy Okay, so one thing that we could do is we could fight from up here into the water. It's not too bad. Having the high ground and some decent cover typically makes for a pretty uh, damn good uh, starting spot. The problem with water is it will slow you down so much that you cannot really get a lot of movement blitz. That means you're a sitting duck as long as you're in the water. Coordinates received. Location confirmed. On the other hand, it cools down your weapons. So, yes, you are a sitting duck, but you are one that can dish out quite a bit of damage. We got three light mechs and one medium mech. Okay, fair enough. Lily is go. going to spot them out. Got a panther, locust, a vulcan. That's not the heaviest armored mech either. And a commander. Okay, we're going to start with a panther. something you want done good they are already out of movement blips which means we have a pretty damn good chance of uh, hitting them and dishing out a bit of damage yes they take 20 percent less good to go. for bracing but yeah that won't really help them not a lot at least Good, Panther moves up and takes a shot at Panther. Good, a few towers are making our life more difficult than it needs to be. Let's continue with hitting the panther. Two solid shots and the guy is almost down, heavily injured at Waiting least. For 
Good, we're continuing to tank most of them, uh, just with nice little movement Got it. and a lot of evasion blips. I'm not 100% sure, but I would take a wild guess and say that the towers are not going to reach all the way to here. And so far, their effective firepower had been rather low. Moving into the water with Hogbite, but pretty much knowing that we can get uh, back on land anytime. Good. We almost got this guy down. Just a few more shots. Confirmed. There we go. Central pause are destroyed. That's a kill. One down, three to go. We might take a bit what of return fire. But nothing major. Next target is potentially the Vulcan, to be honest. Nope, this is really none of my concern. Detecting mech warrior injury. Oh, really? They hit Hogbite a again? He was just waiting, for order. waiting in the sick bay. Oh, boy. Taking the shot. Damage minimal. Ridiculous. How, how is that even happening? He was in the sick bay. Okay, I get it. 20 days. Just came back. First mission after coming back. He took some extra damage. Again. There is less than a 1% chance to eventually hit uh, the cockpit. But apparently hogbite every single time. I'm not sure if the blackjack like has a five times larger cockpit than other mechs last time i checked it did not Good, the Taurus wood reaches over here. Fair enough. Good to go. And there are two pretty active towers apparently. Move order received. Good. Switching target to that commando here. Mainly because the Vulcan has a lot of movement uh, blips. My starter jumps over uh -huh. to here, and let's continue with uh, the commando. Want some more, huh? Okay, the commando still retains its heavy laser. Hogbite moves back. Putting Vigilance in here, that's minus 40% chance, uh, minus 40% damage. And the commando just gets obliterated. So far, so good. The Vulcan potentially should be the next target. Although the Locus also makes a 
very good case for himself to be honest just standing here being a locust Mox moves back. Let's fix shade on the locus. Did not get it down. He's almost down though. That will not really do much. Armor breached. Internal damage. Waiting for orders. Okay, we're moving in. Firestarter and hitting the locus from behind, killing it. All right, right leg, which means might want to turn that way. That gives us time to cool down, and others can uh, can tank the Vulcan. I'm taking internal damage. Standing by. Good. The Vindicator hits and potentially destroys the Locust. Well, it's down to six HP now. Right here. Good, let's try that again. All right, I'll give him the whole nine yards. Fantastic. Hostile eliminated. Just that problem okay, just solved yeah. itself. Can we get the guy down? Lots of medium lasers, a flamer, and uh, an MG. Hmm. We got to cool down, so we're attacking in melee. That's not the greatest idea, but both of the MGs and the flamer will Don't need to tell me twice. also work. It's not as bad as it looks. We're losing a lot of uh, heat. The guy is gaining a lot of heat. And Hogbite is tanking with his rear armor. Good. Fantastic. Well, now it's time for some nice little payback. Turning around. All weapons committed. Good, right arm is gone. Critical damage Ready for detected. Order. Locking in coordinates. I copy. And there goes the left arm. Score to critical left damage. torso on top of it. Waiting on you, Commander. On my way. Mox moves up even further and fantastic. Finally. Moving to position. Okay. You betcha. The first engagement worked quite well, with the exception of Hogbite taking a bit of a beating. Roger that. Now. All we need to do now is to get to I the base are. and destroy it. Commander, beat the cake. Affirmative. Moving out. What can I do? 
do for you? Good. Lily begins to engage. We've got those shredding towers, and there seems to be even a yeah. third one. What can I do you for? Move on out. I can't. Good. One shredding tower Target. down. Yes, Commander. Heading out. Roger. No luck. Good, and I want to make sure that Hawkbite here does not eventually just get targeted. It's okay if Lily tanks them. Plenty of armor on the fire starter. You got nothing, you hear me? I hear ya. Moving to position. Oh, you want some of this? I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Well, that was shit. I was not trying to hit the structure, but actually the tower. Orders. On the move. Full speed. Full throttle. Good. Let's try to get rid of that sniper tower. Not quite. Good. Lily can still tank them. Waiting on you, Commander. But they are essentially dealing some damage, Be there in a chip. albeit pretty low amounts. Good to go. Engaging target. Good. One more tower down. So we're moving back into the water because that's where the best cooling is happening. And we're down to one tower. As soon as that one falls, the mission is effectively won. Good to go. What's up, Commander? On the move. Fire. Waiting for orders. Good, nice little hit. And Hawkbite destroys the last tower. Good, very good. Good. The rest is pretty centered. I'm going to fast forward that for you guys. Very good. Very good. So that was closer than expected. Damn it. Four, uh, three light mechs and one medium mech. And they were all focusing on Hawkbite. And... Since it was so close to maneuver, we even took some damage. Well, to be fair, we had four additional towers on top of it, so that certainly has contributed. Do we get another Vulcan?
Not the mech that I was hoping for, going to be honest. <coughs> I was actually hoping for a couple of other more heavier medium mechs. So now we're definitely a pilot short. And unless we want to leave the sector, which I am not intending to immediately do, I think we do have time for another mission. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Oh, look at that. We got a Vulcan. Or Vulcan. That means we now have two of these bad boys. This one here with more, let's see, 2T variant with uh, more support points. And this one here actually has more um, energy hard points. I think the support version is better, but the jury is out. I, uh, I have not equipped them yet. This one here could be good as well. Both of them are on the lower end spectrum of um, medium uh, mechs. If you consider that 35 is still a light mech and 40 is a medium mech, that's oftentimes a difficult spot to be in because you're essentially compared with a light mech, but you're losing one initiative and you're not gaining that much more armor. Like look at the Firestarter 680 and these guys here fully upgraded wouldn't be that much higher. So just saying it's a difficult spot to be in. Another difficult spot is not to have enough mech warriors to help us. And boy, oh boy, these guys are hey. expensive. So whom do we, whom are we missing? Well, Tigan, obviously. So let's get a Tigan. Base salary per month, 20,000. Club, standing by. Ready? Yes, Commander, I'm here. Confirm. I think we can do with him. One time fee, 33,000. <coughs> okay. Let's get Tigan going. He's certainly not called Banzai. Let me shortly design a Tigan. All right, Lord and behold, witness Dr. Richard Tigan, who is going to join us. He's a younger version of Tigan, but again, you cannot give someone glasses in the game, so bear with me and just suspend of disbelief. This is actually Tigan, who's uh, joined the crew. So, Redford, Hogbite, Lily Mox, uh, Dragonover, and Tigan. Seems like a pretty solid crew, if you were to ask me. So, what can we do in order to maybe get a simple mission? That one here might work out well. It's just a battle. And it pays quite well. We gotta have more funds because we need to repair soon. And how about Bradford is leading... The pack again because he has at least three gunnery meaning the blackjack is in better hands yeah overall difficult pretty difficult the starting lance is not that great and i hope that difficulty one and a half isn't too much for us so let's jump right into the mix Okay, and we landed. Let's take a good look what we're dealing with. When you tree cover here, let's use it. We started in the corner. 
that is normally good the problem is this here very much looks like a trap can't help myself but to think that this high ground here is awkwardly well placed little maneuvering room on the left hand side so one thing that i learned about this game really is to make sure that you're always and i mean always considering i copy that someone is trying to screw you over the the uh, map designers usually assume that you're simply charging in and that is out of my experience the very worst option so i'm trying to use the high ground here and it's a lot of thick tree line and we're we're having a few snipers on our side so which we, sh we should be fine i read you commander moving out locking in coordinates you can see just how long it takes to move uphill no problem enemy is not even close that's fantastic no on my way something i can do gotta make sure that we're not leaving uh, one of the mechs behind so a tight formation is what we're looking for moving out i got you good let's brace and end the turn stay put and keep things cool good left hand side and then we should Roger be that. good to go move order received all right so far so good this is the end of the map i've got eyes on hostile reinforcements yeah, and who would have thought, right? A couple of uh, the enemies are just waiting upstairs here. Moving out. I'm telling you, it becomes predictable when you play the game long enough. It's essentially like almost always the same uh, thing. You're, the game tries to lure you into a situation where you're either in water and cannot move very well, or you're kind of down in a valley so that they get an, a massive aim bonus. Oh, wow. Okay, that's the second, well, that's the second lance. We're fighting against eight. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. Oh boy, that's not good. A couple of long range rockets. Good. Lily here really will be the one that's taking the most of uh, most of the fire. So might as well move her in. And what are we dealing with? A panther, commando, locust. Let's get. Let's go with the commando for now. I'm reducing kind of one me medium laser. I'm just trying to get his evasion blips down and the small weapons the support weapons typically do not have a problem with that that's an assassin we gotta potentially attack it first you nothing, you hear me? because he will ignore the movement blips of our fire starter what are your orders skipper Good, Mox. Let's start with him. I would say we're focusing on the assassin. Out. Because it can deal the most damage. Against uh, the evasion blips of Lily. Standing by. All right, Tigan moves in. Small lasers will very likely not become relevant here. Yeah, we'll take that position. Gives us enough space so that the, there is a lower chance for stray shots. I got you. And luckily, the assassin tends to be on the weaker side with the armor. On 
my way. Redport, come on. Very good. Intercept system destroyed. That is fantastic. That's the one that ignores three blips. Are you kidding me? Titan just was recruited and he's now being damaged already. Oh, fantastic. Good, we're continuing with the assassin here. All right, I'll give him the whole nine yards. He's unsteady, which is good. Let's hope our fire starter continues to tank most of the shots. That's essentially what we were planning for. Still got three evasion blips, so I'm okay with just putting it on reserve. The Locust will not deal a lot of damage. Yeah, and they're trying to go for the Panther, that's okay. They do not have a lot of long-range missiles. But we're soon going to be swarmed by additional enemies. Okay. You, Good. What to do, what to do. We can jump all the way over here and continuing uh, continue to maul the assassin. That would be an option. The assassin is the only one who can act now, and he is severely battered. So let's use our advantage here. Bradford moves up. And if we play our cards right, this might even be a kill. That hit something good. Good. He moved down the initiative order, meaning we might as well kill him if we play our cards right. That's five. That's also five. I think this here is a no pretty decent position. Seventeen. Okay, let's give it all we got. Fantastic. Assassin down. So one down. Quite a few to go. We do not have a heat problem yet, so we can fully unload. That's not an issue. Panther here would be a fantastic target for that. And we might want to do it. Why not? Let's go. Panther took some damage. And we're looking good. We're looking good. Damage is minor, Commander. Waiting on you, Commander. Good. Moving our Panther back. And instead firing on their Panther. Solid hit. Panther tries to retaliate, but it's not really succeed doing so. Lily is still fresh and fit. 
we will leave her in the front line. Hey, what's the blank? All right, we're being attacked from behind. Internal structure damage. The locusts will die in return. Nice try. Got another javelin incoming and another commando. And another flea. Interesting. We're now seven versus uh, three. So, tendentially, I want to fall back a bit further. Ah, send me a real opponent. Ready for orders. Let's start with Tygen. Tygen is I got you. good. He could be flanked uh, from the commando. That's fine. Can happen. All Go. At the same time, we're dealing massive damage against Commander. the locals. And let's take the AC2s out. Target lock on enemy's rear. Good, very good. Back destroyed. So that makes it a six versus two. Good to go. Still a difficult situation. What we could do is we could boost our initiative by one and just go another ter uh, person the, in another round. That wouldn't be too bad. I think we're going to do exactly that. Boosting our initiative and then we're hitting the panther here. M MG is the flamer that reduces our heat. Increases its heat. And next turn, we are the first what one on you? initiative round five. Time to continue our barrage against the Panther. Who solid hits and the guy is essentially retreating at this Armor point. Holding. Let's continue to focus on the panther. Targeting for an alpha strike. Good. It lost its leg. Critical hit command. And that'll mean damage to the pilot. Plus, on top of it, we do a free rain when we're now trying to aim. All of these guys back here are having a hard time dealing with us. The only one that they can deal with is Lily, and Lily has a substantial amount of uh, evasion blips. As you can see, she's doing she's doing well for herself. They've got a lock on me. Yeah, sensor lock doesn't really mean a lot. Good, fantastic. Our tactic worked out well. We got one enemy here, the commando. We got to deal with that, but we got another panther lying on the ground. Confirm. Let's see. This here looks okay, just in 
long range. I'll aim for the leg. And see if we can hit that one. Critical hit. Fantastic. The pilot has taken the second hit. I don't want to go too close. All of the other options are not offering us evasion blips, though. Out of the many not optimal options, this is the least bad one. I mentioned that I wanted to go a tiny bit back. Target acquired. Poor aim. That did not work out well. Oh, Commander. I'm hit. Redford is hit as well. Oh, fantastic. We are going to ya. switch solar systems after this one. We got an in complete ICU filled up with injured pilots. All right, it's just fair that Lily also takes her, her first hit. Engaging jump jet. Just making sure that we're not leaving anyone behind, right? Everybody should get hit. Affirmative. That's a critical hit. My flamer is empty. Good. Lily is still tanking, despite the fact Mox is actually the only one thinking about it who has never received a hit. Armor's holding. Copy. Good. Bradford moves over. And this certainly must be a kill, right? Affirmative. Finally. Finally. Bradford downs uh, the guy and we've got a tiny sneaky commando right here. Tigan moves up. And let's improve our hit chance here. Get this guy down. Almost. Not bad though. We reduced his initiative to three, so he'll stand there for a bit. Waiting for orders. In the meantime. The one and only Lily moves across the battlefield yet another time. Here we go. And hits the locust. She's still tanking. I'm losing armor bad. Yes, Commander. Good. We're almost down to four versus four, but we've certainly taken some damage. Billy is now overheating. Uh, took a heavy hit there. And we potentially need to get Tigan back. Internal damage. Orders. Moving back, 
Let's put him in a defensive stance. Firing. And he gets another kill. Fantastic. Good. It's down to four versus four. Aye, aye. Red Fort still has a bit of armor. Copy that. Copy that. Now we're going to leave them as is for now. The Lopez is a good target though. Not going to lie. That one looks tasty. Let's try to deal some some more damage. Critical hit, Commander. Left leg destroyed. It's knocked down. The other locust. Might follow soon. The flea, rather, sorry. Both of them very small mechs. Redford can still tank. Lots of armor. Confirmed. Commander? Good. Moving up. Mox is looking to take the kill shot, and that was successful. Fantastic. Brato, you're doing a wonderful job. But we gotta get yep. this one here secured, so that's the right arm. Which means the left hand side needs to be facing forward. Okay, we're almost overheating, so no precise shot. Instead, we're just using three, uh, two lasers and the SMGs. Good. Hmm. I do the same trick as before, which is all of them already acted. Moving up. Vigilance so that we're acting first. And we're penetrating the flea, Receiving or you. making it easier to be killed. We get better odds on the commando though, so I will stick with that one for now. Copy that. We're putting ourselves in the way, Firing on target. making Lily a more attractive target. Can't take many more hits like that. What's up, Commander? Location confirmed. Firing a full salvo. Ah, I was hoping to hit the flea one shot and it would have gone down. Reporting. Can't vent all this heat. Yes, orders. Copy that. Multi-shot would be a fantastic option now. Stay, I think we're still going to take our chances here. It's 
more lasers or being accurate. Mana takes quite a bit of damage. Aye, aye. Putting my weight into it. And we're using melee attacks against the small ones. That preserves some heat. And forces them on the ground. Fantastic. A starter tries to hit the commando from behind. Two solid sort of shots. That's good. Critical hit. Hey, what's the flag? Good. We lost a medium laser here. That's unfortunate. Yeah. What can I do you for? Move on out. Let's hit them and kick them while they're down. So the flea is destroyed. Fantastic. Yes, Commander. Locking in coordinates. Good. The commando lost all of uh, their blips. And is unstable now. Order acknowledged. And. I would really like to hit his rear side. Kind of has a payback from the forehand. Ten four. Critical hit. Very good. Good to go. Receiving you. Mox continues to move to the very edge of the map. Waiting for orders. Lily jumps in with the fire starter, and let's take this bad boy out. Still not dead. Okay. Fantastic. Now it's four versus one. We're slowly but surely getting the upper hand. Let's reduce their initiative. Javelin took quite a bit of damage here. Moving up, Mox continues his crusade. Really moves all the way to the edge of the map. Enemy's turn, he's not doing anything. Apparently ran out of ammunition. Well, too bad. Hostile eliminated. We're not going to show them any sympathies for that. That was an A versus 4. Difficult. Difficult. Specifically since we're not the best brawlers. The way that most of the mechs currently are configured is they do have a range advantage and we're trying to use it in order to get the enemies down. As you've seen, as soon as we were in a close uh, combat, we were taking just way too much damage. Plus, three injuries for 23 days is obnoxious. We have just wasted the entire, almost an entire month. But yeah, sometimes... 
It is what it is. There is a 1% chance to hit the head or a 2% chance on any normal shot that is coming from the front. And apparently we were unlucky. Three times during that mission. Good. I would say that brings us to the end of today's episode. I'll do most of the other configuration the next time that we're back. And so see you in the next run. And if you enjoyed what you've seen, feel free to subscribe or leave a nice comment below. That would help the channel and always feeds the ever so greedy YouTube algorithm. Thank you and have a great one. Bye bye.